So today we're going to be talking about how to use Form Ranger, which is a Google Forms add-on from New Visions for Public School Lab, um, with Google Forms to limit the number of selections a person can make. And I'll, I'll explain that here in a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're creating a sign-up for some workshops. And we're going to use Form Ranger that will help us limit to how many people can sign up for a workshop at a time. So it gives us a little bit more power over our Google form, you know, without a Google form, we'll let a million people sign up. Um, here, this kind of limits how many people can sign up and it's very easy to use and, uh, it's pretty cool. So let's go to a brand new Google form by going to forms.new, which again, you need to be signed into Chrome for that. And I'm going to speed this up, but I'm just going to make a workshop where I ask for people's name and for where they choose the workshop. I'm going to make that a multiple choice question has to be, but I'm not going to put in any questions, uh, any choices, change the theme. I'm going to jump over here to responses. Now you want to get to the spreadsheet for this. So you're going to click the little spreadsheet icon under responses, and then you're going to click create and it will open up a brand new spreadsheet. And what you're gonna find here is a timestamp. That's when people complete it. What's your name? You can see all that stuff from the form, but I'm going to create a brand new sheet, a worksheet at the bottom here. And I'm gonna call this one choices. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm gonna start setting this up. Now I'm gonna want a column for workshop, which is gonna be the workshop name a column for count because I want it, I want the spreadsheet to count how many workshops choices have been made. Uh, a limit will be the limit and the filter, which is where the magic kind of happens. Um, yeah, I'm going to create some really small limits here. Obviously not realistic. Uh, we're not going to have a workshop where only one person can attend, but, uh, and now we're going to put in some formulas. And these are very simple formulas. And even if you've never done spreadsheets before, you should be able to follow this. So I'm going to do equal count if, and I'm going to do a parenthesis. Now we have to say where we want it to look to count. So I'm going to go back to the main sheet and I want it to count everything in column C. So I'm going to select the C by just clicking on that column up there at the very top where it just says C. Now put a comma, commas are very important in spreadsheet formulas. And I'm going to say, make it a two. So it's going to look in column C for Mac OS. That's exactly what it's going to look for. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little box here and I'm drag it down and that's going to replicate the formula. It's going to do some magic. Um, but then when I go to say windows, it goes to a three and Linux and Android and so on, it goes on down. Um, and now we're going to put in another formula, but this is under filter. And so we're going to do the equal sign. Well, here, let me zoom in for us first filter, uh, parenthesis, and we're going to be filtering. So it says, well, what, what do you want me to filter? So I'm going to do a two colon to a seven. Hold on here. Oops. There we go. A little typo action. Um, and then, so that's what it's going to be filtering. That's, that's what's going to be filtering. And then we're going to put a uh, parenthesis, a comma, sorry. And now we're going to give it the when to filter. So if B2, so to B7, there you go. And now we're going to do a less than sign to C2 to C7. So pretty much if it's, if B2 is less than C2, it'll show Mac OS, but if it's equal or greater, it will not show. Um, so this is it. Now we've got it set up. Um, where we are going to go next is we're going to go back to the form and here we are at the form. And now I'm going to put on the, the form ranger add on. So, um, click the three little dots up there and at the bottom, it's going to say add-ons and you're going to click that. 
And I, <laughs> there it is, the very first one, Form Ranger. Uh, well, the second one. Uh, the other one, Form Limiter, I'll talk about that in another post or another video. So I'm going to go ahead and install it, continue it, give it all the permissions at once. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm going to come back to the form, and you're going to notice this little puzzle piece. I'm going to click that and select Form Ranger, and then I'm going to click Start. And it's going to think for a little bit. We're going to zoom in here and make sure I'm on the what workshop would you like to attend question. I'm going to say populate from range. Now, when I click select, there's nothing there. So you have to click that little plus button that'll give you new range. What will happen is you get a list of your spreadsheets, select the spreadsheet that's associated with your Google form. It will think for a second. And now it's like select. So we're going to select choices for the name of the worksheet, and then we are going to select filter for the column. And now we're going to click next. Uh, we're going to give it a data name. I, I, I'm going to call it filter. You can call it whatever you want, a range name. And then I'm going to say save and populate questions and watch what happens. Boom. All the questions are there. So what will happen is as you reach the limit, it'll filter out those ones and update the form on every time somebody submits. So let's check it out, all right? That's gonna be pretty cool. Now on there, it says on form submit. So every time somebody fits it, uh, submits a form, it updates. But every hour, maybe you go in there and manually change something. Um, every hour, it'll update that form. So here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna speed, there's the form, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and I'm gonna put a bunch of submissions in there. Yeah, Terry. And okay, I've got a bunch in here and as you can see, Chrome OS has one and it's been limited one and it's it's been filtered out, it's not there anymore. And when I switch back to the form, and give me a second here, uh, submit another form and there is no Chrome OS. That's pretty cool. Now, what happens if the two people are submitting the form and there's only one spot left and they're submitting at the same time? Well, what you'll see there is that the whoever, it'll check, it'll see that it's not available, it'll give you this error, it'll remove the choice. Pretty neat.